This is Grandmaster Daniel Naroditsky. We are watching Hikaru Nakamura taking on Chinese Grandmaster Lu Shanglei at the 2014 FIDE World Blitz Championship and a peaceful opening by Hikaru as he fianchettos his Queen's Bishop at the very start of the game. Hikaru is an expert in this opening. He plays it very frequently in Blitz. And Lu Shanglei already taking 10 seconds and developing his Bishop to G4, the most aggressive, the most ambitious square for his light squared Bishop. And Hikaru with knight e5 jumping into the center. This does resemble kind of a reverse Trumpowski, but the big difference that Hikaru already has fianchettoed his bishop. There goes bishop b2, and Lu Shanglei gets his knight out and offers a knight trade, which Hikaru declines as he moves it back to f3. Very unique opening here, and Lu Shanglei continues his development, and Hikaru fianchettoing his other bishop, now transposing into something resembling a king's Indian attack in d3. A typical move here as Hikaru castles and both sides continuing to develop very, very quickly. The knight coming out to d2 and Hikaru is probably going to try to push his e-pawn as quickly as he can. That bishop on d6 and the knight on f6 are also going to be susceptible to a fork. And so Lu Shanglei pushes his own pawn to e5 and a trade in the center. A position that Hikaru certainly likes. He's also up 30 seconds on the clock. He's basically played instantly here. He's got both of his bishops fianchettoed. He's got some pressure on the e5 pawn. But Lu Shanglei, he has pressure, corresponding pressure, on the e4 pawn. He plays queen e7. He was trying to trade dark squared bishops with bishop a3, which Hikaru immediately prevents by pushing his own pawn out to a3. And now Lu Shanglei probably trying to figure out how to position his rooks. He just seems uncomfortable, though. He's already taken almost a minute off of his clock, and we're still in the opening. Hikaru with a lot of clearly defined ideas here that knight from f3 it could jump to h4 and to f5 and Hikaru almost seems bored he's so experienced in these kinds of positions and now his time advantage has reached one minute with still over three minutes on the clock is Hikaru Nakamura and Lu Shanglei trying to expand on the queen side here pushing his pawn out to a6 maybe preparing b7 b5 and trying to stop Hikaru's d2 knight from accessing c4 but here comes the other knight and it jumps out to h4 and the bishop from d6 moves on to a more active square and that's why Lu Shanglei played a6 on the previous move if Hikaru plays b4 he will drop his bishop back to a7 and keep it on that diagonal in order to pressure the f2 pawn and now will Hikaru put his knight on f5 yes he does offering a trade of the light squared bishop for the knight and Lu Shanglei declines that trade instead choosing to move his queen up to e6 and he's sort of threatening to take Hikaru's knight on f5 although that pawn on b7 could hang at the end of that line so Hikaru doesn't even really have to defend the knight if he doesn't want to and he takes his first think of the game and he plays bishop h3 creating a pin a pin against the queen and threatening a discover check and so Lu Shanglei shifts his queen over to c6 I like the way he's handling the middle game thus far but Hikaru continues to expand and watch out that bishop can't drop back to a7 because there will be a fork on e7 what a clever idea by Hikaru and exasperation is seen on Lu Shanglei's face as he will have to drop his dark squared bishop back to a very passive square he certainly doesn't want to move back to d6 and then Hikaru he could continue expanding on the queen side by pushing his c pawn to c4 this is actually a very unpleasant position all of a sudden for black and he looks over at the clock and he changes his thinking pose and Lu Shanglei getting a little bit nervous here as Hikaru is fully in control of the game and finally, he decides to bite the bullet and he takes on f5. Hikaru recapturing with the pawn in order to intensify the pressure on the e5 pawn and create the possibility of dropping his light squared bishop back to g2. And he doesn't do that yet as he expands on the queen side, pushing his pawn out to c4. And he's threatening c5. And so Lu Shanglei moves his bishop outside the gates with bishop g2. Hikaru dropping his light squared bishop back onto the long diagonal and continuing to expand on the queen side and adding more pressure and shoving that queen and forcing it back to a7 the situation getting more and more unpleasant here for Lu Shanglei and after Hikaru trades on d4 that pawn on d4 is going to be really really weak and Hikaru is going to surround it with his knight and his rooks and there he goes and first he surrounds it with his queen and he moves up to c4 still over two minutes on the clock look at how confidently Hikaru plays these positions and how does Lu Shanglei defend that pawn on d4 look at his queen on a7 it's totally banished it's out of the game and that is not something that he can afford as he drops now to below a minute on the clock and the situation continuing to deteriorate for the Chinese Grandmaster what does he do here and he plays b6 desperately trying to create some space for his queen and break through white's pawn chain on the queen side but Hikaru says no way Jose and no way Shanglei here knight 
coming out to b3 and defending the pawn on c5 and Hikaru recapturing. And at least Lu Sheng Li has managed to isolate that pawn on c5. So Hikaru, can he take on d4 with his queen? If he takes with a knight, then he does allow black to take the pawn on c5. And Hikaru now taking perhaps one of the first thinks of the game as he's played so quickly and confidently and he's trying to figure out whether he can take that pawn on d4. I think he can. I think he can just take that pawn with his queen. But just double checking that there's nothing nasty that black can do because that queen will be walking into a potential discovered attack by the knight on d7. And as Hikaru continues to think, he finally decides to first trade rooks and force black's rook off of the d8 square. That actually makes a lot of sense. And now he has won the center pawn on d4 and Lu Sheng Li down to 40 seconds as he swings his rook back to b8 and he hits the knight. And if the knight moves away, then the c5 pawn is going to be hanging. So can Hikaru find a way to keep his knight anchored to b3? And yes, he does as he brings his queen calmly back to c3. And look at that bishop on g2 as it totally dominates over black's entire position. The knight on f6, the queen on a7, nothing has any squares. And Lu Sheng Li shakes his head as he moves his rook back from b8 and to e8. And Hikaru now up a pawn for no no compensation. If anything, White's pieces are also much better placed than Lu Shang Lei. He needs to pull a rabbit out of the hat, but it's looking increasingly unlikely as Hikaru shoves his pawn down a C6 and opens up the C5 square for his knight. And will he put his knight there? And yes, he does with no hesitation. Queen C8 by Lu Shang Lei attacking F5 and Hikaru defends it and also attacks the A6 pawn at the same time. And H3, now he starts to expand on the queen side and the knight moves to D7. So silky smooth as Hikaru's technique. 15 seconds now for the Chinese Grandmaster, and will he take that knight on d7? But then there's going to be a pawn on d7, very close to promotion, and Hikaru will be able to support that pawn from c6 with his bishop if he so desires. And nothing better to do with four seconds on the clock than to take the knight. This position is completely winning for Hikaru. Bishop c6 or queen a6, everything looks overwhelming here. And there comes that bishop as it sits on c6, and that queen is going to infiltrate to a6, and queen a8 is coming, and a queen trade is going to cause the pawn to promote and Lu Shang Lei with his last second moves his king up to h7 but there goes queen a8 and it's all over Lu Shang Lei has to trade but now he cannot stop the pawn he's gonna have to give his knight up and this is over Hikaru up a bishop what a smooth positional game by the blitz wizard Hikaru Nakamura if you enjoyed this video make sure to click the link in the playlist for more of these videos thank you so much for watching